filling up over here off the 58. This is the night transportation rental car. And here is some of my shit. The rest is in the trunk. I'm headed to the Phoenix yard, their main terminal, where they got like the cab over and the basketball courts and bowling alley. That's where I'm going to get my truck. And yeah, we're starting off with night transportation. She get all that in there. Vlogged in a minute, dude. No receipt. Let's go. Let's keep it going. So I think I'm gonna sleep at a truck stop tonight. Not to Hatchapi. I'll make it past to Hatchapi, but when I get tired, I'm gonna shut down. I got like what? A little more than half to go. But first, let's stop right here at McDonald's. Get some french fries. Look at all this big goodness right here. Look at that. Two large fries. Mmm. This is drugs. This is literally like drugs. It's my favorite drug. Look at all my shit, dude. I got so much shit in here. Mmm. 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 I don't eat their burgers. I don't do the burgers. But I definitely do. I just worked. I definitely do the fries and the Coke. You know, Coca-Cola gave McDonald's their own special Coca-Cola that you only get right here at McDonald's. The Coca-Cola you get right here at McDonald's, you don't get it anywhere else. Not in the grocery stores, liquor store, gas station, other restaurants. This is the McDonald's Coca-Cola. I don't know if you guys knew that. That's how much of an unhealthy fast fooder I am that I would even know some shit like that. I heard it on Joe Rogan and I looked it up and it's the truth. We all know it, that formula at McDonald's, why that's the best tasting Coke and Diet Coke on the planet. Okay, typically restaurants get their soda syrups in plastic bags, but Coca-Cola does something different for McDonald's. The fast food chain gets their Coke syrup delivered in stainless steel tanks. According to the New York Times, the material keeps the soda fresher and your tongue can taste the difference. A thousand percent it can, yes. The water in Coca-Cola syrup are pre-chilled before entering our fountain dispensers with the ratio syrup set to allow for ice to melt. Oh, so that it doesn't get watered down with the ice. So they are making it stronger. But this that's smart. Look at that. Mm. Golden arches, baby. Hey, if you've seen that movie, The Founder, Ray Kroc was a G, dude. Let's keep going. To Phoenix, we go. I got some sleep right here in the car. Off of the tent, I'm over here at a rest area. This place is packed, dude. So um, we're gonna keep going. I'm about four, four hours and some change out. So yeah, let's go ahead and keep it going. Did you check that out? 335 for gas. Back in America. Uh, oh, I got the hiccups so bad tonight. Right here in Arizona. I was driving, let me show you on the highway and I didn't realize I really needed some gas, dude. Oh, so low. I'm right here in Quart Quartzsite, Arizona. Woo! I've been hiccuping all night, dude. Once you leave California, you're back in America where everything is just cheaper. California, it is America, but then again, not really. But it's really its own little country. You can't really have guns there. Gas is like a dollar more expensive. It sucks, dude. Thirty-one bucks to fill it up. I was like pretty much empty. Oh, it's probably like a gallon and a half away from being empty. Let me address something real quick to the Californians. Because I know I've got a lot of viewers from back home. When you leave California, say you go and move to Arizona, Nevada, wherever, right? You tend to think because you're wearing an A's hat or a Giant's hat, like, oh, 
that girl's checking me out because I'm from California, because I'm from the Bay. No one gives a fuck that you're from the Bay. In fact, a lot of people don't like the fact that you're even from California, especially San Francisco or L.A. or something. So a lot of Californians get it confused, especially young guys. They think they're the shit because they're from like Oakland or San Francisco. And the truth is a lot of Americans don't like those parts. A lot of Americans don't like people from San Francisco. So just a heads up. Yeah, dude, so Phoenix has just as much traffic as Los Angeles. I don't think it's any better or worse. It's pretty much about the same. I felt like I was on the 405 or some shit. I wasn't even paying attention. This is the corporate office. This isn't the yard. I was looking around on the map, so I was like, hold on, dude, this is not it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, dude, I'm like, what, 30 minutes away from the actual yard? Jesus Christ. Okay. I did it right this time. Here at the terminal. Night transportation. I guess I'm gonna walk into the building. I think I gotta look for a guy named Eric or something. Um, let's go. So, I put on some real shoes. I walked in there and I guess Port Rail is in a certain part of the building. Look at all this shit, dude. So, let's go back in there. So the way it goes is the one that's not red, those are million mile trucks. Once you hit a million miles, you could pick the color of your truck and the make, of course. This yard is pretty big. Man, I feel like I'm in the big leagues now. Well, I'm literally with the biggest carrier in trucking. Night Swift, you know. This is what I'm going to be hauling. Our containers. From the Las Vegas rail yard to the Long Beach port. But when that slows down, I'll be doing like a dry van from Vegas to AZ or Utah. Not bad, dude. This place is huge. Here it is. <laughs> Driving a Volvo, dude. I went from a Freightliner to a Volvo, huh? Yeah. Las Vegas. At least this job is getting me back home. These tires look like they need to be swapped out. What do you guys think? I don't think that's 232nd. Those tires look pretty low on some meat on the tread. I just opened it, but I closed it open it with you guys and it looks like they detailed it already yeah they detailed it so we're good to go so we're idling the truck I should have recorded all the reactions I got a TV mount right here this is already in the truck I just got here as you guys can see a little cabinet and this noisy sucker right here is a refrigerator I could clean it out a little bit. Oh, I could even get ice in there. Not bad, dude. Oh, this thing rattles, dude. This thing rattles really bad. Whatever. And you know what? I don't think this has like an idle shut off on this Volvo, dude. I think I could run my AC all night and be fine. This door is sagging a little bit. See that? I could probably tighten up the hinge or something. And uh, I got a bunk right here. Oh, it's strapped up on the top, I think. I could probably just pull it down. There's my bed. And yeah, dude, this is, we got some more space right here. Let's see how, how it gets, how dark it gets. When it's time to go night night. Well, I probably won't be able to do it with you guys on the phone. But oh, yeah, not bad. So it's good to go to sleep. It's nice and dark. We got curtains right here. And 
Let Transportation say they come with inverters already installed. So where is my inverter at? Is the question. Oh, there it is. There's the inverter right there. Not bad. So I got a fridge. Um, I got to figure out where I'm going to put my microwave at. I guess right here. And I'm just going to have to put it on the bed when I'm driving. So, oh, check it out. I got window covers. At CR England, I put up like thumbtacks and I cut up a black sheet from my top windows. So, you know, the sun wouldn't get in here and I could keep it dark. Oh, check that out. Dude. Yeah, this is a step up right here. It's a Volvo. I don't know if they break down a lot, but the setup in here is a, it's a step up from what I was in from my Freightliner. I had to pay for my own inverter. I didn't have a refrigerator. Now I got an inverter and a fridge. Um, I got a TV mount right here and I don't have an ELD just yet. So I'm wondering if I should check in with the office. I'm gonna check in with the office to see if they gotta get the shop to put an ELD in here before I even use creep mode to start loading up my shit, so. Let's go and do that. Got the key. And a Volvo, huh? Let's do it. Just lock, lock it up. Daddy's truck right there, port. Going to the ports, baby. Are those recaps? No, they're not recaps. That's just the tire. I'll report that to the guy in the office and I don't know, maybe to the shop right here. They got a fabrication shop, but I think the mechanic shop is up this way. It's going out on a load right there. Not me. I'm not doing a load today. I don't even got a driver code yet. And I got all of my shit in the truck, as you can see. So not that much. I downsized and I'm going to downsize again as I go through this shit. I'm going to throw a lot of it away. So night transportation. What's the difference from CR England so far? I don't think England would have put me in a rental car. They would have done the Greyhound like they did before. And I think they only fly you out if you're from like North Carolina and you got to go to Utah or something. But hey, I've even heard people doing Greyhound on that with, um, with, with CR England coming that far from across the country. So that's a plus. And I'm in a Volvo. This thing was idling below 70 degrees, like around 62 earlier. So I'm thinking this is just continuous idle, which is cool. You know what I mean? It's like an unspoken thing. I could be wrong. I'm guessing I, I could be wrong. And because of that, I did bring a box of my hand warmers, right? Cause I, I'll get this to idle, right? I'm gonna be running out of the ports. As you can see, this is a port truck. I've never been to the ports before, so I'll have to learn it. I'm guessing my first week or two, the pay is gonna be fucked up because I'm gonna get lost on the port. and That's gonna take up a lot of my time. I'll probably get yelled at by a few shoremen over there. And what have I been up to these past, what, two weeks since I've uploaded, almost three weeks now since I've uploaded a video? Man, just being unemployed, uh, going through this hiring process, this hiring process took a long time. I'm not gonna lie, it took a long time. I'm guessing just because they're a big, busy company, but it's gonna pay off. I'm not doing reefer, so when I park somewhere and I shut down for the night, I'm not gonna have some like engine idling behind the wall of my tractor, so that'll make it easier to sleep. Night transportation has terminals in every state that I'm gonna be operating in. I'll do mentoring. I'll start training people again because, you know, that's where the money's at. And I'm just going to see what happens, dude. I'm going to get back to Las Vegas and I'm going to start vlogging on the Las Vegas Strip. I'm going to start the new channel that I have. I need a job. I only got one video on there right now. And yeah, this is night transportation. And we're back to the normal programming. Being unemployed sucks, dude. Like, crashing at people's houses because you know when you're a truck driver you live in the truck and 
dude, that whole thing with Martin was just a fucking disaster, and it put me out of work for about like a month, and it feels good that I'll be getting the paycheck, like I'll be on a pay period this week, I'll start running most likely tomorrow throughout the week, it's Monday through Friday on this account, so yeah, on my days off, I'll be back in Las Vegas. I'll be honest, dude, I'm just appreciative to have a job again. So be sure to smash the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, we're at night transportation now, right here in Phoenix. I'm gonna go get some food and finish hooking up this truck and putting shit away. I gotta run to Walmart and I wanna get this video up like now. Peace out.